What is going on with NEO stock right now? March was not a good month for NEO stock with the stock dropping over 21%. In fact, NEO is down over 46% since the beginning of January. NEO stock is now at its 52 week low and this could prove to be an inflection point for NEO. This is a must watch video and I will be looking at why battery swap technology could change the EV market. Before we get into the video, if you find any value in this, can I ask you to smash the like button? It literally costs nothing, but it helps the channel out so much. I'm aiming to get 300 likes on this video. Help make that happen. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content like this. I want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, so always do your own due diligence. Now there's a lot to discuss, so let's get into it. NEO is not just an electric vehicle maker. NEO is much more than that. NEO is a pioneer in China's premium electric vehicle and technology market. They design, manufacture and sell EVs whilst driving innovations in next generation technologies, autonomous driving and artificial intelligence. Although NEO is mainly known as an electric vehicle company, I think it is more accurate to describe the company as a technology company. Similar as to how Elon Musk has repeatedly described Tesla. Tesla is a technology company that also makes EVs. And NEO is similar. And there are several arms to the NEO business model. NEO House, which has been expanding over the years and now there is over 140. NEO Life. This is NEO's lifestyle brand where NEO is tapping into brand loyalty to sell an entire lifestyle to customers. Then we have NEO Power and NEO Service, which offers a power service system with chargeable, swappable, and upgradable batteries. This includes home charging stations, the NEO Power Charger, the NEO Power Swap stations, and the NEO Power Mobile system. And then finally, we have NEO Phones and Nomi. NEO's advanced in care AI assistant, it's a voice activated AI digital companion for NEO owners. Now, all of this combined is used to encourage brand loyalty with a cross selling of products, which has so many benefits. Like they can cross sell products to existing customers. A customer who buys a NEO EV for the first time then perhaps buys a NEO phone. Brand loyalty can be a very powerful tool. And this means that they achieve additional revenue without spending a cent in additional costs. And this can continue and have a snowball effect where the consumers really buy into the brand and buy everything that the company has to offer. Now think of this from a financial point of view in very simple terms. Revenue goes up while costs come down. This is exactly what you want to see in any business, not just EV or technology and not just NEO. Any business that can increase revenue while decreasing costs is onto a winner. And a good example of this could be Apple or a better example even being Samsung. Everybody knows Samsung makes phones, computers, watches and TVs, etc. But they also make everything from microwaves to washing machines to vacuum cleaners. And I can nearly guarantee that anyone who has one of these products also has another product from the company and then will buy the next generation in the product line too. That is the power of brand loyalty and that is the business model that NEO is going for. This is a very difficult task, but if NEO can achieve this, then the sky is the limit, or should I say the blue sky is the limit. Now, a couple of things have happened in the past few weeks, and in recent days, there has been negatively affecting the share price. Firstly, NEO's deliveries so far in 2024 have been terrible with some negativity surrounding the EV market in general. However, NEO's performance has seen the stock slide into penny stock territory. NEO has just cut Q1 delivery guidance to 30,000 units. Of course, this is a really bad sign for NEO due to the fact that the lowered guidance means that the company now expects March deliveries to be about only 11,800, considering it delivered 10,000 in January and 8,000 in February. This does not bode well. These are three of the worst months for NEO in several years, with April up next, and April has historically not been a great month for NEO sales either. But this is not just an issue for NEO, this is an issue for many EV brands including Tesla and Lee Auto. Tesla have cut back production to a 5 day week, while Lee Auto have also lowered guidance substantially too. And in the past few days too, NEO has partnered with Geely Automotive on EV charging stations. Now this will allow Geely EV to share the NEO network and this includes 
Link, Zeker, Polestar and Smart. But this is not the first partnership between Neo and Geely, who previously signed a strategic deal to jointly promote battery swap services. It is this battery swap technology that differentiates Neo from every other EV manufacturer, and these swappable batteries could change the EV market. So the question remains, what is wrong with Neo? I get so many comments saying different things, but what do you think? Is it the company's bad financials and excessive cash burn? Is it stock manipulation and shorts driving Neo stock down? Are management running Neo into the ground, or is it simply that Neo stock is crap? A lot of investors are down a lot of money on this stock. Leave a comment below. As a Neo investor and a viewer of this channel, I want to know what you think. Engineers have made strides in battery development over a very short time, but these still struggle to provide the best daily usability. Solid state batteries are being hailed as the saving grace for EV, but despite billions of dollars being spent to try to fast track development, it is still many years away. Traditional charging still requires several hours to fully recharge. Even a level 2 charger or a direct current level 3 fast charger takes time. And fast charging may also decrease a battery lifespan with excessive use. Which is another issue, battery lifespan itself already being a huge issue facing EVs. But some are hailing swappable batteries as the next best solution for the electric cars due to their functional benefits. Not only can EV drivers change the batteries at the same time as they would have previously filled a tank of gas or diesel, but it also solves the battery lifespan issue. And NEO is at the forefront in this regard. Have no doubt about this, NEO is the pioneer of EV battery swapping. But many of the large players in this industry still oppose the idea of battery swapping for several reasons. Mass adoption would drastically change industry dynamics. But in an industry where there are so many concerns, where there is currently a price war, and yet every EV maker still has the same major concerns. Battery swapping could easily be the solution. And this is the reason why NEO has been building such an extensive battery swap network and why deals such as the one with Geely could prove pivotal for NEO. Should the EV industry embrace battery swapping, then NEO is the company that will be at the forefront. Now, in this video, I have looked at the company in general, looked at the battery swapping potential, and viewed some of the issues and latest news. But I have not looked at the financial statements and what this could look like for over the next five years. One of the biggest issues with NEO right now are their finances. So if you want to see an analysis of NEO from a financial perspective, then like this video and drop a comment below. As soon as I get 300 likes on this video, I will do a NEO financial analysis with my price prediction for the next five years. So many NEO bears have been saying NEO is going to go bankrupt and they've been saying it for years. They were saying it in 2021 and they're still saying it in 2024. But is there any merit to what is being said? Let me know if you want to see a Neo Financial Analysis video. In my opinion, there are many reasons to be bullish about Neo, both in the very short term and in the long term for Neo investors. This is, of course, just my opinion and it is not financial advice. There's a lot of talk on social media right now about this stock, but always do your own due diligence. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but if you enjoyed this analysis, then please like and subscribe. I hope you make a load of money on this stock. Follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you in the next video.